if you're on a health and wellness journey, if you're trying to lose weight, you're probably tracking your calories or your macros. Well, how you measure your food makes a huge difference. And the more precise that you can be, the more successful you're going to be so that you don't wind up with excess grams of fat, protein, carbohydrates, excess calories, etc. So, for example, almond butter. This is, you know, a medium-ish to small size jar of almond butter. And I'll show you here. So, 2 tablespoons of this, which is 32 grams, is 190 calories. And there are approximately 14 servings in here. Let's do the math, shall we? One gram then, one gram of this almond butter. And mind you, a gram is approximately the weight of a paper clip, okay? That would be about six calories. Well, that can add up pretty quickly, right? Especially if you're not, if you're not measuring. If you're measuring by the spoon, instead of measuring by the gram, depending on where you are in this jar, if you're towards the top and it's more oil versus towards the bottom, or maybe it's a little more condensed, what have you. Anyhow, if you are measuring by, by cups, well, there's approximately 16 tablespoons in one cup. And so one cup of this almond butter, I did the math for you, 1,520 calories. 1,500 calories in one cup of this. Six calories per gram, okay? Um, and this, this entire jar, and I'm calling myself out, left to my own devices, if I'm not measuring this, ooh, a good heaping tablespoon, maybe two, goes in your mouth really easy, right? one jar of this, and I could easily go through a jar in a week if I'm not careful, right? If I'm not, if I'm not tracking, because it's delicious and I love it. One jar, this entire jar is 2,600 calories. If you're not losing weight and you're not measuring your food with a gram scale, that could be why.